Hello, it's Barry at godaukulele.com. It's a new year and we are back on with the instrument reviews. A very happy new year to you and thank you for all your support during 2017. This one's been sat on my review shelf for a while and I couldn't bring myself to pick it up and review it because I knew exactly what I thought of it. But I thought, which, but what better way to kick off 2018 with this one? Uh, this is a soprano from Martin Smith. It's the UK 212. This one in red comes with a range of other colours. Uh, UK 212 Soprano from Martin Smith, available widely on big shops in the US and in the UK, um, and attractive to first-time players because they're pretty cheap. And it looks pretty generic. You might say, well, it's not the first brightly coloured ukulele I've seen before, and it's not it's not the first I've seen. Uh, it comes in Union Jacks, it comes in a range, it comes in pink, blue, you name it. Um, and there's quite a few of these around. Um, but this one, I just immediately looked at it and thought that that build and that finish is appalling. Uh, the paint is pooling all over the place. It's rippled. It's got areas where the paint hasn't actually been finished properly. And here, um, it's got sort of dubious looking stains and dents in the wood that they've just kind of painted over. And it is ultra thick. If you look at the top of the, the sound hole there, ultra thick, ultra chunky. No real resonance whatsoever, just heavy. Um, looking inside, it's also similarly basic. There's no bracing in there at all because you don't need any bracing when it's this thick. And the neck block there just looks like it's been pulled off a tree and sort of hammered in place with a couple of nails. It's really rough. Uh, we got a bridge, which is a tie bar style with a plastic saddle. The bridge mount itself is plastic and that's screwed in place. And the only other decoration we've got is that sound hole rosette, which they couldn't even put on straight. So my OCD alarm is going off. Up to the neck, not entirely sure what this is made of either, because it's covered in that thick paint. It's got a hugely chunky heel. There's no need for a heel to be uh, that thick and some horrible gunk that I don't really want to touch and scratch off in the, in the paint marks here. Um, strangely, it's got a 36 mil nut, which is really surprising for a Chinese instrument, but bad news is that nut is not set straight it's on an angle which means any intonation accuracy here is just going to be up the wall um, it's topped with an unspecified wood on the fingerboard which is painted black I think the frets might be brass but they may be painted gold and that black paint if I can get the focus right is rough as you like and the black paint overspills on the side and the red paint paint overspills on the black and it's awful. There's 12 frets, they're sharp, we've got no position markers whatsoever. Um, I'm just trying to just show you just how rough that fingerboard is. See, that is yuck. Okay, up to the headstock, three-pointed crown, obviously, what else? With the Martin Smith logo, which they couldn't even get on particularly straight. And there's sort of flaws in here as as well where you know you can see some flaws in the wood that they've just simply painted over and thought well nobody will see that when well, you do see it i know this is all cosmetic but it gives you a sign of the amount of care and attention and quality control that's at play here because i don't see any quality control at all um the bushing on the front there of one of the tuners it is raised up and is not seated properly i thought i could just push that back in i can't can't push it back in because the drill hole for the post has obviously been done wrong the tuners themselves, ultra cheap, massive buttons, they grind, they're all different tensions, they're horrible, there's loads of play in them. Um, the heel seems to be, the neck seems to be coming away from the body here. Uh, you can see there's a split, can't think of another reason why there's a split in the paint down there, it looks like there's some tension problem. White strings that you might think are aquilas, they're not aquilas, they're just white nylon and they are stretchy, rubbery, soft and horrible uh, taking me weeks and weeks to get to hold tune they're still not holding tune now and you also get I'm all, I'm, what's the point it keeps the dust off i think but why would you be worried about dust on it i mean i'd, I'd be more worried about the build of it and these are 20 pounds in the uk 35 dollars in the us um and it, it's it, I've really been, like I say, been putting off doing it. I didn't want to do it um, because it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. You know I don't like the build. You know I don't like the finish, the quality control, the flaws, the sharp, 
the sharp neck it's heavy it's it's neck heavy it just wants to dive it's just not balanced at all it's just got no resonance i know you've seen these before there's so many of these about i'm just going to check the tuning again because it keeps going out uh, because some people still say that i deliberately don't tune them when i want to make them look bad i don't need to <laughs> tuned or not you'll see how this sounds in a moment i mean there's just no life to it there's no volume there's no sustain there's no character to the tone. And whilst we're in tune now at the nut, because of that really high action at the nut, as you can see, super high, I've never seen one so high, they just, the, the notes just go out. So we're in tune, play a G chord, for example, it's off. And it's off because of the action of pushing those strings down so far. I can't let off the tension on my fingers because then I don't fret the frets properly. Let's just have a play. Please, please, do I have to? finger picked it's really hard to play because the action's so high This really annoys me. It's one of the worst ukuleles I've reviewed. Uh, it's worse than the Ashton I reviewed last year. Uh, I know it's cheap. I know people say, well, this is what you get. Uh, for the money, you could do a better setup on it. You could change the strings. I would say, why bother? Just go and spend a bit more. Put a bit more in your pot. This is a 20 quid budget. Save another 20 quid. Spend 40, get a Macala Dolphin. I understand that money's tight for some people, but you're not buying a musical instrument buying one of these. But it can be done at low prices, but you just shop around. This is not your choice. This should just be avoided like the plague. Uh, the Martin Smith UK 212 Soprano. Um, this just makes me want to weep. It makes me want to reach for a box of matches, or a chainsaw, or a hammer. This should never go into the hands of someone trying to learn how to play the ukulele. Um, it's appalling. Absolutely appalling. And brands like this should be ashamed of themselves. Back next week. The rest of the year cannot get any worse, I assure you. Uh, and I've got some nice stuff coming as well that I'm really looking forward to reviewing. So I will see you very soon. And again, Happy New Year.